안녕하세요, 여러분. 선현우입니다. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Describe This Picture with Talk to Me in Korean.com. Let's begin. So the picture that we're looking at is right behind me. It's a beautiful picture of a beautiful place. Of I, I don't know if they are beautiful people because I can't really see up close, but there are four guys playing volleyball on the beach, and I am going to try to describe this picture with you guys with five different sample sentences. Okay, let's look at the sample sentences first. The first sentence is 파도가 세게 치고 있어요. One more time, 파도가 세게 치고 있어요. The second sentence is 사람들이 신발을 안 신고 있어요. 사람들이 신발을 안 신고 있어요. Sentence number three. 사람들의 그림자가 두시 방향으로 져 있어요. More slowly. 사람들의 그림자가 두시 방향으로 져 있어요. Sentence number four. 모래사장 위에서 사람들이 비치 발리볼을 하고 있어요. 모래사장 위에서 사람들이 비치 발리볼을 하고 있어요. And the last sentence is 날씨가 더운지 남자 두 사람은 셔츠를 벗었어요. One more time. 날씨가 더운지 남자 두 사람은 셔츠를 벗었어요. So these are the five sentences that we will be looking at very soon in detail, but let's look at the word list first. The first word is 파도. 파도 means wave. Wave. And then the second word is 세계. It's written as 세계 and it is okay, it is correct to read it as 세계, which means hard, but uh, a lot of people say it as 세계. And 세계 means when you're hitting something hard, strongly, that's 세계. And then the next word is 치다. 치다 is to hit something or to hit someone. And 사람들 is people. 신발 is shoe or shoes. It's the same thing, 신발 in Korean. And then to wear shoes or to put on shoes, you say you use the verb 신다. 신다. It's not 신다, it's 신다. And then the next word is 그림자. 그림자, shadow. 두시 is 2 o'clock. We're talking about the 2 o'clock uh, direction. So we have the next word, which is 방향. 방향 means direction. 방향. And then we have 그림자가 지다. When we talk about shadows being cast in some directions, we can say 그림자가 지다. Although 지다 sounds exactly the same as the other word, which means to lose, in this case, no shadow is losing in anything. It's just being cast. 그림자가 지다. And the next word is 모래사장. 모래사장 is a redundant word because 모래 means sand and 사 also means sand, but that's basically how it works in this case. 모래사장, it's a sandy beach. And the next word is we. We means up or on something. And 비치 발리볼 is basically beach volleyball. The next word is 날씨, weather. 덥다, to be hot in terms of weather, of course. And 남자 means guy or man. 두 사람 means two people. 셔츠 is shirt. But sometimes 셔츠 and t-shirts are often differentiated because 셔츠 can mean Dress shirt and t-shirts mean t-shirts. And the next word is 벗다. 벗다 means to take off a certain piece of clothing. All right, so those were the words that were necessary in order for you to understand the sample sentences that we have picked. Now let's look at the sentences one more time, more in detail. So the first sentence was 파도가 세게 or 세게 치고 있어요. 파도가 세게 치고 있어요. Strong waves are hitting the shore. So basically, 파도가 치고 있어요 means the waves are hitting the shore. They are arriving at the shore, but they're not arriving gently. They're not weak waves. They are strong waves. They are visible. You can see them breaking white. So you can say 세게 치고 있어요. So the key structure would be 파도가 치다, the basic form of the waves hitting the shore or arriving on the shore. And then the waves are hitting, they are happening. So, 파도가 치고 있다, the basic present progressive sentence that we always mention, usually, at least once in one of our lessons. And then, 파도가 세게 치고 있어요. They are breaking really hard. The intensity is high. So, that's the structure. So, 파도가 치다, change it to 파도가 세게 치고 있어요. The next sentence is, 
사람들이 신발을 안 신고 있어요. People are not wearing their shoes. In this case, maybe the weather is not too hot. Sometimes it might be a mistake if you don't wear shoes on a sandy beach. Anyway, 사람들이 신발을 they're not wearing shoes. So let's talk about wearing or putting on shoes, which is 신발을 신다. Please be careful with the pronunciation 신다. You have to say 다 and 신발을 신다. But they're not wearing them. 신발을 안 신고 있다 or 신발을 안 신고 있어요. So if you see anybody who is not wearing shoes, usually in Korean homes, people don't wear shoes. So 신발을 안 신고 있어요. And you can also mean the same thing by saying 신발을 벗고 있어요. 신발을 벗고 있다 or 있어요 can mean that they are in the middle of taking off their shoes or they are not wearing shoes right now. So once again, 사람들이 신발을 안 신고 있어요. People are not wearing their shoes. The next sentence is 사람들의 그림자가 두시 방향으로 저 있어요. Their shadows, or the shadows of those people, those four people, are cast in the two o'clock direction. 그림자가 지다 is when you say the shadow is cast. 그림자가 지다. And then, of course, the shadow has been cast. The shadow is not moving. It's not going away right away. So it is there. 그림자가 저 있어요. It's in that state. It has been put into that state. 그림자가 in what direction? 두시 방향으로. The same thing in English, you, th you can say in the 2 o'clock direction, at 2 o'clock. In Korean, we say 2시 방향으로. In English, you can say, look at your 3 o'clock, look at your 4 o'clock. But in Korean, you specifically use the word 방향, 2시. You don't say 2시를 보세요. It's always 2시 방향을 보세요. So remember the word 방향. So 그림자 is in the 2시 방향. The next sentence is, 모래사장 위에서 사람들이 비치 발리볼을 하고 있어요. It must be fun, right? On the sandy beach, people are playing beach volleyball. So volleyball is 배구. But for some reason, we don't say 해변 배구 or 바닷가 배구. We just use the Konglish term 비치 발리볼. So 비치 발리볼을 하다 is to play beach volleyball. And they are in the middle of playing it, so they are 비치 발리볼을 하고 있다 or 하고 있어요. And then, where are they playing beach uh, volleyball? They are playing it on the sandy beach. So, 모래사장 위에서 비치 발리볼을 하고 있어요. They are playing it on the beach. And last but not least, we have this sentence. 날씨가 더운지 남자 두 사람은 셔츠를 벗었어요. Two people took off their shirts, maybe because the weather is hot. So, 셔츠를 벗었어요 is the key structure. They have taken off their t-shirts or shirts. And then, if you want, you can change it to 벗고 있어요. And people won't misunderstand you and think that you are saying they are in the middle of taking off their shirts. Because 벗고 있어요 can also mean they are shirtless right now. So. 날씨가 더운지 is the reason in this case. So 더운지 is maybe because. So whenever you want to say maybe because it was so and so, you can say 은지. So 아이스크림이 맛있는지. Of course, ice cream is delicious. But 아이스크림이 맛있는지 아이들이 많이 많이 먹었어요. Maybe because the ice cream, or I guess it's because the ice cream was good. Children ate the ice cream in a large bulk. So any situation you can think of, please try using 은지. So in this case, 날씨가 더운지, maybe, I guess it's because the weather is hot or because they wanted to show off. 날씨가 더운지, 남자 두 사람은, they are shirtless. 벗었어요. So these are the five sentences that we've looked at. We've looked at really interesting words and expressions as well. So please review by maybe watching this video again, or if you want to rewatch some of our previous lessons in this series, you can always go back to talktomeinkorean.com and watch those videos entirely for free. And we'll be back in another lesson very soon. Bye-bye.